Welcome back to the Happy Camper, coming to you from the beautiful mountains of southwest Montana. We're back today at our sponsor's dealership, Rocky Mountain RV, here in beautiful Butte, Montana. And today we're going to take a look at an Aspen Trail offering, one of their smaller bunkhouses with the super slide out. And this is the uh, 2020 model 2340 Aspen Trail. And again, this is a Dutchman product, and Dutchman's gone through a lot of... Uh, transitions here and there throughout the years. They were one of the first companies ever to be purchased by Thor. A few years back uh, they were placed underneath the Keystone flag as far as parts and service go. So they are interlaced with Thor and Keystone and Dutchman. Dutchman does still run its own design team. It runs its own uh, product production lines and that type of thing. But we do run uh, warranty and service through the Keystone portal. So it's um, it, it's a pretty big conglomerate that you end up in with uh, with these products. This particular 2340 was built in the Pendleton, Oregon plant and that's where uh, Rocky Mountain sources most if not all of their Aspen Trail products. Anything that they do build in the West uh, they do uh, they do go ahead and purchase out of that plant because it is a little bit less uh, freight as far as uh, getting it that uh, that distance from Oregon to Montana versus uh, out of their main plant, Dutchman's main plant in Goshen, Indiana. So once again, you know, this product is a smaller, shorter bunkhouse trailer with a super slide out. And we have a lot of people these days that are, you know, just they've had that 32 foot platform, uh, the 28 foot models that, you know, give you the, the bigger sofa inside and they give you the, the outside access to the, to the bathroom and, and a few options like that. But they are just a little longer than what some people wish to do. They're a little more than some people want to put on a half ton in this particular part of the world. So this is another option that's out there. It's it's quite honestly a very good option. It's a very well laid out trailer. Uh, we'll go through the whole thing. I'm going to give you the technical information on this unit before we get started here. Uh, but it is a uh, dry weight of 5,612 pounds. We have a hitch weight of 840 pounds. So that puts it comfortably inside any of the half ton tow ratings. I tell people, take your unloaded vehicle weight, your UVW or dry weight is kind of a, a slang term for that, and add about a thousand at the outside top, 1,500 pounds when you're putting in water, batteries, propane, and gear. In a little unit like this, you're honestly 1,100, 1,000, 1,100 is about as much as you're ever going to get in this thing unless you're hauling lead plates around in it. So, that being said, you're going to be in that, you know, under 7,000 pounds loaded. Uh, gives you a pretty good, pretty good error, uh, margin of error for your half ton, modern half ton pickups. So it's, uh, and, and again, the SUVs, which are usually tow rated a little less than the pickups. So that gives you an idea of what you can tow it with. It is a 52 gallon freshwater capacity, 42 gallons on the gray tank, 42 gallons on the black tank. This is a six gallon water heater, of course. Um, it's a single slide on a single awning, a single air conditioner, which all makes sense. This particular interior color, the darker color in here is called titanium. Um, and that's what you're looking at here today. So let's get kind of moving through this unit and we'll, we'll walk it through it front to back. I'm going to start just kind of a logical place and do it as most uh, painlessly as I can here. We'll start right at the entry door. As you walk in and come down the entry door side there, right inside the entry door, you're going to see your control panel, uh, which is going to have just all your you know, switches and buttons and slide switches and monitoring levels and that type of thing. Uh, here on the end of the kitchen counter, you're going to see just one little single storage drawer, which they put in there just to give you a little spot to, maybe just as a junk drawer, that type of thing when you come in the unit. Uh, we've talked about this in the past in our Aspen Trail series, but I will mention it again. Throughout the entire unit, they're running this thermal wrapped counter, and this is a seamless countertop. It is cored with a particle board type material, but what we gain here is we don't have the vinyl edging that pushes in in a T-mold fashion around this exterior because the second that we get that out in Montana cold temperatures, that, that vinyl molding shrinks up and then it leaves big gaps and causes all kinds of problems. This is a, a cost effective and a weight effective way to put in a seamless countertop without the expense and again the weight of a Corian or a solid surface top. Uh, it's worked extremely well. We've had it on the market about two years now. When this first came to the market, uh, the first t attempt with this was five or six years ago. Failed horribly. There was all kinds of cracks and, and cold cracking issues and delamination issues. Uh, they've changed the, the composite, the components in the composite itself. 
that the heat treat to the countertop and this particular material has been flawless. So, so far so good with this countertop. I really like it as long as it holds up in the Montana weather, which it has done for the past, give it 24 months or so. That's, that's kind of what it's been. Uh, the overhead up here in the, in the kitchen is going to show you some overhead cabinetry. They do a glass insert, gives you a little different look on this unit. Um, inset microwave range hood as well. And then down here below we do have the three burner gas top with, of course, the gas oven. And this does have the window and the lighting. And, of course, it does have the, um, the flush glass top here to be able to use this as additional counter space when you're doing dishes. Uh, really a nice feature there, this, of course, being a short bunkhouse. It's got some countertop space, but it's not a lot. So what you're going to do is conserve it over here with your glass cooktop. The, the counter is angled out here, so you get some additional behind there. They are, of course, also doing in uh, the new models on the Aspen Trails, the farm-style sink. It has this stainless steel front apron, big single bowl, and then down into a big residential-style drain. And then, of course, we have a high-rise gooseneck faucet with a single lever control. Very nice look throughout the entire unit. I, I'm really impressed with what Aspen Trail has done this year. They've, they've needed a facelift for the last couple years. If you look at a 2019 versus the 2020 models, there's no comparison. Uh, just a much better look both inside and out. Refrigerator, of course, is a gas electric, uh, dual fuel, Norcold refrigerator. It's going to be a six cubic foot, very, very common, very standard. Uh, works well. It's a great great refrigerator for this type of coach. The double over double bunks here in the back, you can see they are the teddy bear style mattresses. So they're going to have that kind of soft cover on them. They're a good, pretty good thickness on the foam, fairly, uh, fairly firm. So they should hold up a good long time and uh, give some comfort for kids sleeping. And of course, that is uh, an under and an over. Both bunks are lighted. We do have uh, USB charge ports up here in the top, which you can see there. And then of course, LED light up overhead there. We do have a ventilation window and escape window back here in the back of the bottom bunk. And that's just gonna add a little safety into the trailer. At the very back, we, and I will mention that we do have a uh, privacy curtain there as well. In the back of the trailer is gonna be the bathroom. And again, it's gonna be a fairly standard RV bathroom, nothing Nothing too exciting here, um, just you know, kind of your standard uh, Aquamagic 5 foot flush, plastic uh, toilet. We're going to have right behind that the small garden tub with the, uh, with the surround. That does have the little built-in soap shelf and, of course, the removable head. Um, up overhead, one of the things that Aspen Trail does do that I do like in their bathrooms, they add this skylight. And when you're out in the unit, out in the, you know, using this thing out in the woods, when you walk into the bathroom, you don't have to turn the light on every time because we get this nice natural light in out of the skylight in the bathroom. Of course, our privacy curtain there, shower curtain on that. Uh, you will see consistency throughout the unit with the thermal wrap countertop. Small bathroom sink, single bowl again. Um, you know, it's going to be an acrylic sink. You will see they do put a medicine cabinet with storage just up over the top. We do have a little bit of storage down below here as well. Uh, you know, in a 23-foot in a model bunk trailer, it's a workable bathroom. It's not going to be luxurious, but it is definitely going to work. Uh, in, in here, as we kind of come around to the off-door side, we're going to see the full-size slide-out, and that is the big 44-inch uh, deep slide system. This is going to be a rack and pinion electric. It's Trust, uh, excuse me, time tested and proven in the RV industry to be a great system. It's cost effective, it works well. So uh, in the back of the slide here we do have a pantry and then some storage drawers down below and that is nice in these smaller bunks to be able to get a little bit of extra storage because you're always struggling for that a little bit. You can use this for either food storage or of course it can be kids clothes if you got uh, you know back here at the back of the unit there's just you're gonna have a couple of kids setups here not bad to have it either way. Your big U-shaped dinette here, this is going to sit uh, six adults pretty easily, uh, and it is convertible with a couple of different configurations down here on the floor for your table to set up. The table does also fold down into a bed, and this will make a seven foot long by 48 inch wide bed. It's a very nice, uh, comfortable bed system. Even for two adults, you can sleep in there. Up towards the front of the unit here, we have uh, the privacy wall between the bathroom or the bedroom in the main room is going to also be your entertainment mounting center. You can see that they have the uh, LCD TV mounting bracket location here. Uh, Rocky Mountain does not order their units with TVs out of the factory. It is something that they will do here for you, uh, of course, with, with a charge, but the charge is going to be less than what the charge is out of the factory. We have a lot of people tell, you know, tell us all the time, ah, I go I go camp and I want to get away from the get away from the TV and get the kids away from the electronics. 
honest, a lot of people don't even want it in the trailer, so it's not that temptation. So this will give you both options. If you want to put one in, you can certainly do it yourself. It's very easy. Your dealer will also do it very reasonably for you. That's that's not a, a deal-breaking thing anymore. Uh, again, back up here with the, the consistency on the uh, thermal wrap top. That looks nice up there as well. Gives you a little mantle kind of a look to it. And then down below, we do have our entertainment. That's going to be the Furion, and that will, uh, I believe that will give you everything, AM, FM, CD, and DVD, um, you know, and of course all the little input plugs on it as well. So, uh, nice little system there. And then down below, of course, storage cabinets, and then we do have a little shoe hide down there at the bottom of the, of the cabinet. In the bedroom, you're going to see a 60 by 80 full queen size mattress, and that is going to be, um, you know, your regular home size. So it will take home linens. You don't have to fold or tuck or find anything strange. It really is a, a nice feature. makes makes life a little simpler. The bedroom closes off with these two pocket hard sliding doors on each side, so it does give you some privacy even in these smaller units. You will see electrical outlets on both sides of the bed, and then a little built-in nightstand. Each side does have a little hanging closet. Up overhead here we have a shelf. They did that accent wall in the front with some shiplap look, and that's a that's a nice look again. You do have an LED light on each side to give you some reading, as well as up here overhead you will see uh, LED up on the ceiling, and that is a, also an AC duct that I'm showing you there. And so I'm going to just step back out and pan around in the main room here for just one second while we talk before we go outside. Again, we are at our sponsor's dealership right up here next to the street, so I apologize for any road noise. Uh, it is a little loud. I do have the big uh, muffler on the uh, microphone today, so it shouldn't be too bad. You should be able to hear anything I'm saying. We're still dealing with uh, some winter conditions up here in Montana. We're looking forward to getting back to our off-site shooting location where it's a little more... Uh, a little more suited for what we're doing here but we'll make do with what we have currently we really appreciate rocky mountain letting us come down and wander around the dealership and and uh, video some of their inventory and and do these kind of things rocky mountain of course does use our our videos on their listings and we really appreciate that it's a good relationship we have both back and forth with them uh of course we try to be as accurate as possible with any of our videos but things do change from time to time. I noticed uh, on this unit, I don't like to talk about price a whole lot in my, in my videos because it changes so often, but I was going to mention this. Uh, you can look and see that their normal price on this unit, and again, this is coming to you in March of 2020, um, you know, but this particular unit that I'm standing in is showing a sale price of uh, $21,758. And uh, Rocky Mountain does, you know, they, they hang the MSRP tag right in the unit, their, their sale pricing right there. And then I noticed when we walked into this, when they have this particular model on sale, I think they have like four or five of these in stock, but uh, they do have this on sale for $20,999. So they're saving you about you know, you're saving about $760 or whatever it is. So pretty good buy on this unit right now. You, you could end up with the trailer and the, you know, an equalizer hitch and brake control in the truck. You know, the things that you need to make the thing work, um, you'd end up with that stuff all kind of for their normal sale price, which is a, is a very good buy on this little, this little model. And they do have a few of these in stock. I don't know how long they're running that sale. So uh, if you want something like that, hurry in. But uh, let's take a step outside here and take a walk around. It is a nice day. Um, you can see the blue sky over the mountains out there today. And uh, we'll go ahead and take a peek at the outside of the 2340 BHS. And this one just... Uh, for your information, this one is a 2340 BHS WE. The WE in the model number stands for West Coast Production, and that just signifies it was made in Pendleton, Oregon. They do build this model out in, in Indiana as well. So the front end, as we've talked about before in our Aspen Trail series, this is uh, the smooth metal that they've gone to for this year. It really has a very sharp look. It's a tan, kind of a champagne tan on the front, smooth, and then it's got a very dark inlay on the top with the logo, as well as a very dark rock shield at the bottom, and that is a textured, um, little heavier sheet of aluminum down on the bottom there, so it'll take a rock ding and that kind of stuff a little better than that other stuff. The, the couple reasons I like this, uh, number one, you go down the road in the summertime with these things, they're gonna have bugs splattered all over the front of them. This smooth metal is gonna be very, very easy to take your little soft bristle brush and scrub those bugs off. Makes it just easier for that cleanup thing. Anybody that's washed an RV knows how challenging that can be. So it's nice to have not have corrugated metal on the front. As a package from Aspen Trail this year, they did do a forced option on power jacks. So this is gonna have the power front tongue jack here. And we'll also have power stabilizer jacks. I'll show you that when we get to it. This is gonna have dual 30 pound LP tanks as well as room 
for dual batteries. You do have to check with your dealer to find out what they install. Here at Rocky Mountain, our sponsors, they put on two Group 24 Interstates as kind of their standard prep package. So, you know, again, check with your dealer, or better yet, just, just come in and purchase from our sponsors and you'll know you get it set up properly. Coming down the door side, the front end of this whole unit is, is storage and that's accessible from both sides. And you can see a little bit of framework and that kind of thing in here. Of course, you can see that they use good quality building materials all the way through. There's no knots and nasty sap or anything sticking out any place. Um, you can also see over there we do have the same storage drawer on both sides. And this is lighted down here to give you a, a little little help at night if you are out here working at night. This does have the Furion solar connection right here on the front of the unit and you can use a portable panel there, plug it right in and it's wired straight into the main battery system. So that's a really nice feature as well. This does have of course the uh, the LCI power jacks. I ran these down today so you get a little better look at how they work. Uh, they do self proportion side to side. You can be on unlevel ground and you don't have to put a block or anything underneath them. You just hit the button and run them down. They're you know, probably the best power jack that's on the market in my opinion. They run quicker than they used to and they're, they're a nice jack. You know, and Aspen Trail decided to add a little additional value to their unit this year. They put these in on a, on a forced option and then, and then discounted them out back, back out of the unit. So it's, um, it's, a nice, it's a nice feature, especially if you're not paying a, an exorbitant amount of money for them. You can see, of course, the power awning here. This is a single push. This one, again, is an, is an LCI awning, and uh, it's, a, it's a push push extend, push retract. It does have the uh, LED strip lighting right up here against the wall in the unit, so you can see that that's, uh, that's going to give you light along the entire side of the coach. What I found with these LED strips is they do not uh, attract the bugs near as bad. It's a much better spread on the light, so you can see down the whole side of the trailer when you're out using this thing in the woods. Uh, and then, of course, like I said, the, the very common to forget and leave the outside light on when you go to bed. With it being LED, it's, gonna, it's not going to kill your batteries overnight. We do, of course, have the large assist entry grab handle. You can see the three-year warranty sticker there. I usually kind of glaze over that because it's, it's one of those things that isn't necessarily what it seems. But uh, Aspen Trail, Thor Industries, you know, in a, in a bunch of their products has done what they call their three-year limited structural warranty. So they have a full coverage warranty from 12 months of, from date of purchase that covers kind of everything in the unit minus your maintenance of items. And then they have their structure covered for another three years additional. And you need to really read what the warranty covers. But from my understanding, it's going to be things like frames, wall structures, roof structures, floor structures, big things. If you had a major, a big major issue with your trailer after the initial warranty was up, you know, Aspen Trail, Thor, um, Keystone, Dutchman, whoever you want to want to say, they're trying to make sure that their products are covered if there ever were a major issue down the road a little bit. So that's what they're giving is a little better peace of mind to say, hey, everything, you know, everything's built with human hands, and uh, if there's a major issue that arises, we want to take care of it. That's that's what it is. So don't think it's a three year that covers everything, but it is a little additional coverage, a little additional peace of mind. Uh, right here at the entry entry door, we do have, of course, the uh, three step aluminum tread bite bright straps these are very nice very good usable step uh, pretty standard 15 inch uh, rubber these are going to be a five lug axle um, you know again nothing nothing real special but it gets the job done that's that's the important thing this is this is family fun that's affordable so up here underneath the awning we do have exterior speakers as well um, these are going to be service accesses over here for fridge, furnace, and water here. That's some of the stuff I'm not really looking at because that's just for service techs anyway. On the back of the 2340, you're going to see the little outside kitchen. This goes in underneath the bunk. This is going to have a little two-burner outside gas top, cooktop, a little bit of storage, and then this very small uh, exterior refrigerator. This exterior refrigerator is electric only, so keep that in mind. If you're in Montana, probably not going to be a lot of places you can use it. But you can always pull it out, and you can always use that. You know, use the use the fridge at home, and use that for additional storage space. So, uh, it does come with the unit, and that's just kind of the way that they that they set up the package. You can see, of course, the rear stabilizer jacks here as well, and they're the same power as on the front, with the little push extender track buttons, and those are right here on the skirting. If I didn't show that up front, uh, the back of the unit is going to feature your outside shower, and that's nice if you're going to you know get a dog in the mud or you get a get a cooler that's got uh, got a mess in it you can hose that out outside it is hot cold we do also have the spare tire i can't believe that that's still optional in this world but it is they still do put it on there as an option this one one other thing i do want to mention here on the back is this does have santa flush and this is a, a spot where you can hook up to your your black tank 
with a garden hose, flush that thing out when you're dumping your unit, and that will keep your, your black tank nice and fresh and clean. I really like that feature. It is prepped for the Furion backup camera up on top as well. Doesn't come standard with a camera, but it does have the prep. It can be added very easily. Uh, on the off-door side, I'm real close to the fence here, so I can't walk up the whole door side, off-door side, but there's not a whole lot over here to see anyway. We do have our power connection. This runs a standard 30-amp power cord, as well as a city water connection and a cable TV hookup. And then down in here, you can see our sewer connection. It's just a single sewer connection on this. The one thing you should notice, though, is the valves are up inside the heated and closed underbelly which um, keeps them out of the weather. If you have a heated belly and then the pipe comes out and the valves are out here exposed on the end of the pipe, guess where you're going to have a freeze problem. So this is... Sorry for that technical difficulty there, but uh, this is going to keep your, your valves up where it is heated up inside the belly and it is a little better system than what some of the, uh, some of the companies run. So once again, uh, this is the Happy Camper coming to you from Rocky Mountain RV in beautiful Butte, Montana. We appreciate our sponsors. If you're interested in this unit or, or any of the other 200 they have in stock, their website is rockymtnrv.com. Again, if, you're appreciate of, uh, if you appreciate the, the content that we produce, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. It does help us out a whole bunch and get us in front of some other viewers. We'll keep bringing you... Uh, videos as, as often as possible. We'll get out here and do some more filming in the next couple days. Once again, have a great day and happy camping.